Today on the channel, we got a new toy for the shack. Stick around. So guys, right over my shoulder there is a Yesu FTM 2800, which I've had for quite a long time. It is a single band VHF radio. Um, so I wanted to upgrade to something for the shack, and this is what I came up with. Didn't want to break the bank, um, so I came up with the any tone. I believe it's the, yeah, 778. It's a dual band, dual receive mobile radio, which I will set up here in the shack. Now, I do want to say um, I bought this out of my own money. I'm reviewing it for myself, and I will be using it. Um, but I do want to give a little shout out to DX Canada. Um, they, uh, that's where I purchased it. It's in Ontario. Um, newer company, just starting in the last few years. Um, I, I'm not even really sure how long he's been in business. I've ordered a few things from him and they've always uh, given me great service. Fast shipping, I ordered this and in four days I had it from Ontario to Alberta, Northern Alberta. So um, a quick good shout out to DX Canada and like I say he didn't he doesn't know anything about this he's not paying me for anything no promotional sponsorship at all so without further ado let's have a look at this all right guys so here's the Anytone mobile radio looks like a decent manual does come with the programming cable which is really really awesome uh, makes it much easier to program this thing so the first thing that uh, strikes me about this radio is actually its size and as you can see it is pretty small very very nice compact unit I actually have a measuring tape and I will show you the size so from the front button to the back of the heat sink is a little less than six and a half inches around six and a quarter and left to right is just under five inches so not sure well you can see that but nice uh, compact radio i mean that my hand is not that big it pretty much just covers my hand so um yeah Decent little radio. It does have a color screen. Uh, one of the neat features about this is if for whatever reason you need to mount this upside down, you can flip the display over and it will uh, <laughs> it will work both ways. So very, very neat little rig. There's a lot of, uh, or not a lot, I shouldn't say. I guess there's a few um, um, videos on YouTube about this radio. Uh, a guy in the UK has done uh, some testing on it. Um, like I say, it's a very well made, very solid radio, nice metal case, very uh, built in speaker, and of course the heat sink to help keep it cool. It is only 25 watts output maximum, which will be perfect for here in the, in the shack. So I, uh, I think it's going to be a great little radio for what I need. Now let's have a look at what else we got in the box. Nice microphone. Um, microphone has got numeric numbers on it, the, the keypad, it's programmable keys, A, B key, which is nice. Um, and of course, you can lock out this so you don't actually um, accidentally hit some, hit some of the numbers while you're talking. Feels very solid, seems pretty good. And of course, finally, we have some mounting screws and the bracket and the power cable. So I'm gonna program it and I'll uh, bring you guys back. The programming software is available online. Uh, you download it for free. And of course you use the uh, programming cable which actually plugs into the microphone plug. So guys, here it is, uh, it's mounted. 
beautiful color screen, lots of little buttons on there that you can look through the uh, manual to figure out what's going on. And I'll do an audio check. I do have it hooked up to this external speaker, but the internal speaker on that is super loud. So I'm going to do a quick audio check. We have a parrot on our um, local repeater, uh, Victor Echo 6. Victor Echo 6 Golf, Charlie Mike testing. Uh, Victor Echo 6 Golf Charlie Mike testing 1 2 3 4 5 5 4 3 2 1 Victor Echo 6 Golf Charlie Mike testing the Anytone 778 mobile radio uh, Victor Echo 6 Golf Charlie Mike testing 1 2 3 4 5 5 4 3 2 1 Victor Echo 6 Golf Charlie Mike testing the Anytone 778 mobile radio uh, Victor Echo 6 Golf Charlie Mike monitoring so there you have it folks, works great. The, um, the programming software is a little bit uh, cumbersome. Once I got the hang of it though, it was fine. I had to do a few little settings, um, change, the, uh, change the frequency band, and it was fine. Works great, I like it. Uh, it's gonna do the job fine. And as you can see, I have two, two repeaters. I'm on the Tower Road repeater, which is a local repeater here. And we have a second repeater that's quite a bit further away, it's a Stony Mountain repeater. And I have that one on the bottom and I can monitor both at the same time. So should do awesome for what I want in here. Great little radio, nice color screen. Um, like I say, um, nice big microphone, well lit, you can change it. And there's the, uh, the color screen here you can see. So very, very impressed with it.